जनरल मेंटल एबिलिटी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन स्टडिंग द फॉलोइंग फिगर ए पर्सन गोज फ्रॉम ए टू बी ऑलवेज मूविंग टू द राइट और डाउनवर्ड सो आई इधर गोइंग राइट और डाउनवर्ड अलोंग द लाइन हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट रूट्स कैन ही एडोप्ट ओके डिफरेंट रूट्स आर आस्क सो वट यू कैन सी द कंडीशन इज आइदर कैन गो राइट और डाउनवर्ड कैन नॉट गो लेफ्ट एंड अपवर्ड दैट इज नॉट अलाउड सो हेयर फर्स्ट इज लाइक दिस वन रेड कलर सी समाइम इन यूपीएससी क्वेश्चन इवन यू कैन काउंट ऑल्सो विल नॉट एक मच टाइम सेकेंड रूट इज लाइक येलो वन दिस थिंग राइट एंड डाउन थर्ड इज ग्रीन फोर्थ वन इज ब्लू सम स्टूडेंट दे मिस दिस वन दिस इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल ब्लू वन then next is fifth and the last one is six so we have total six different routes from a to b where we just can move rightward or downward left and upward not allowed so here answer is six just like 30 second question you count but be careful right and downward so here answer is coming six next is question number 2 consider the following figure and answer the item that follow what is the total number of triangle in the above grid number of triangle has been asked but the point here is in this figure i just draw here this figure is not complete here this part and this part is missing so this two parts are missing here it is not complete grid if it is a complete grid then it is easier i tell you how come like here i tell you the short trick if it is a complete grid but if it is not complete grid then we have to do manual counting but that is in sequence so we will see this base is divided in 1 2 3 4 part so it is 4 sometime base is divided in 5 part base is divided in 3 part so here step number 1 there are two step if it is a complete figure so start with 1 then 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 plus 3 this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 it is 4 we have to go up to 4 I will take one more question also after this. Then I will take P Y Q, which is ask. So this is four. We have to go up to four. So this is one. This is three. This is six. This is ten. Sixteen, nineteen, twenty. But this twenty is not answer. I repeat step number one. Here this is four. One, one plus two, one plus two plus three like pyramid. One plus two plus three plus four. next is step number 2 we have to go reverse bottom up approach first number we have to leave second number we have to add third number we have to leave fourth number we have to add alternate number we have to add so this is step number 2 so step number 2 here 6 plus 1 7 so in this 20 we have to add 7 so in the given figure we have 27 triangle no need for manual counting direct 27 triangle we have I repeat first step 1 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 plus 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 this is 1 3 6 10 20 we go reverse you leave 10 6 you leave 3 1 6 plus 1 7 20 plus 7 27 so in the given figure we have 27 triangle now next point is i just draw one more so 
so here this figure just note down this is one two three so base is divided in three part so base is divided in three part so step number one 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 plus two one plus two plus three so this is one three six six plus three nine plus one ten step number one base is divided in three part we have to go up to the three step number two now we go reverse leave first add second leave third so you add three so it is 13 so we have 13 triangle here but provided that it is the complete figure we can apply the shortcut but in UPSC they have not given the complete figure our examiner is smarter than us so here what our examiner has done actually our examiner has given you a figure where it is not a complete figure in this figure two lines are missing this one and this one so what we have to do we have to do manual counting we start with the smallest size triangle like this so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so smallest size triangle we have 12 step by step because here I cannot use short trick since it is not a complete figure if it would have been a complete figure I would have solved this in 10 seconds but still manual counting is also like 30 to 40 second time consuming but you have to go in sequence so this is smallest size triangle we have 12 next is we will see this size triangle I use green color for that this size triangle here double base it is double base 1 and 2 double base here we have single base here double base 1 and 2 so if you join these two base you get one triangle upward and you get one triangle downward don't miss this so here we have two triangle here next is here 1 and 2 this two base give you one triangle this 1 and 2 this two base also give you two triangle so two triangle here then I use red color so this is 1 and 2 double base 1 triangle red color just focus on red color so we have 3 here so total double base triangle we have 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 3 7 so we have 7 triangle double base we have 7 triangle next is triple base triple base here is 1 2 3 so we have triple base here like this this size triangle triple base but don't miss here also we have triple base triangle this is triple base this is triple base so we have triple base triangle 3 don't miss the largest triangle we have one here largest triangle here one so you start with the smallest size triangle single single base triangle we have 12 smaller size triangle 12 then double base 7 triple base 3 and here 4 base we have 1 so 12 plus 7 19 22 plus 1 23 so here this question answer 23 next question there are four routes to travel from CT A to CT B so A to B there are four routes and six route from B to C there are six route from CT B to CT C how many routes are possible to travel from CT A to C direct shortcut when A to B we have four routes B to C we have six route so A to C will be 4 into 6 24 routes so here question number 3 answer A 24 A to C we have 24 routes 4 into 6 question number 4 similar question you will find in C set here same type of question generally they ask with reference to the figure given below the number of different routes from S to T without retracing without retracing 
from u and v. So you cannot retrace u and v. So from s how many roots we have? 3. From u how many roots we have? 2. From v how many roots we have? 3. So from s to u we have 3 roots. From u to v we have 2 roots. From v to t we have 3 roots. Multiply. So 3 into 2 6. 6 into 3 18. So here answer is D. See here if you have to go from place A to B you have 2 root for example. B to C you have 2 root. C to D you have 4 root. A to D how many roots will be there? 2 into 2 4. 4 into 4 16. Same. S to U we have 3 roots. U to B we have 2 roots. B to T we have 3 roots. Multiply. 3 into 2 6. 6 into 3 18. So number of roots we have 18 here. 18. Question number 4. 18. Question number 5. From each end the first point is at distance of 1 cm from the end. Second point is at a distance of 2 cm from first point. Third point is at a distance of 3 cm from the second point and so on. If the end points and on the ends are not counted and the common points are counted as ones. You have to read between the line common pointed counted as ones and the end points are not counted. I will explain with the help of diagram what are the number of points. From each end. There is something missing here like here. There are two ends which are 36 centimeter apart. In this question, the point is 36 centimeter apart. I tell you, just wait. These are two ends which are 36 centimeter apart. For example, this end we will call as a Dani. Don't take otherwise. This one is Reliance. Okay, in the stadium. Thirty-six centimeter. This stadium is the smallest stadium in the world. Thirty-six centimeter. Named as Namo. Om Namo. Anyways. So here. From this Adani, we put one point which is one centimeter away from this. You have to focus on the color. I explain the question. Two ends, Adani and Reliance, are 36 centimeter apart. From Adani, first point is one centimeter away. Next point is two centimeter away from this. So two centimeter away from this. Third point will be three centimeter away. 4th point will be 4 cm, 5 cm and so on. So from Adani to Reliance, how many points will be there? Point number 1, point number 2, point number 3, point number 4, point number 5. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 10, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 plus 7, 28. 28 plus 8, 36. Okay. So you add it become total 36. So we have point number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the end points. Adani and Reliance. Here Mr. Adani is standing and here Mr. Reliance. Mr. Mukesh Ambani. Ambani. Okay, anyways. No. Now the point is we will start from here also. I use green color. First point is at 1 cm. Then next will be at 2 cm. Then next will be at 3 cm. So next will be at 4 cm. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 
10 plus 5 15 7 plus 8 15 so this fifth point of reliance from the reliance end and six point from the downing end is same okay mutual over then it is six so it is also same six point then seven then eight eight will be here eight So what you have to do first you count point number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then this is point number 8, point number 9, point number 10, point number 11. But this is already counted. This is already counted. Point number 12. So we have total 12 points because the end point Adani and Reliance we cannot count. And the common point we have to count once. This is the condition here. Lengthy question with the help of diagram it is easy to understand so here there are 12 points so answer here is 12 answer B question number 5 answer is B 36 centimeter so you make point from this first end you make point from the second end with the condition and wherever we have common point you have to count once and the end point a Dani and reliance point you cannot count because it is mentioned if the end points on the ends are not counted and the common point are counted as once common point you have to count only once what is the number of points number of points are 12 okay i have explained this question with the help of diagram and i have given you the solution next question in 2014 a group of 630 children is seated in row for a group photo session each row contain three less children than the row in the front of it which one of the following number of the row is not possible here we use a concept of natural number it is actually like GMA or you can say number system mix question number of children 630 and there are three row each row contain three less children than the row in the front of it like if there are 10 then here 13 then here 16 so the difference is 3 3 so what which one of the following number of row is not possible okay three four five six divisibility will help you actually i take this is n i assume there are three row three four five six from answer option you have to check then it will be n plus three then it is will n plus six total 630 if the value of n is coming natural number it means number of row possible if n is coming decimal can you tell me number of children in decimal you will say ram is having two and half children how it is possible so either two children or three children so it means value of n has to be natural number actually n plus 3 n plus 6 so here n plus n plus 3 n plus 6 630 so 3n plus 9 is equal to 630 so 3n is equal to 630 minus 9 that is 621 value of n is 621 divided by 3 this is coming 307 yes it is possible so 3 row possible 3 row possible now we check 4 n n plus 3 n plus 6 n plus 9 total 630 if value of n is coming natural number possible otherwise not so this is n plus n plus 3 plus n plus 6 plus n plus 9 is equal to 630 this is 4n 3 plus 6 9 plus 9 18 630 so value of 4n is 630 minus 18 is here 612 so value of n is coming 612 divided by 4 153 it is coming natural number so number of row 4 also possible so we can have 4 row yes yes it has to be natural number if it is coming natural number okay otherwise not if number of row 5 then it will be n n plus 3 n plus 6 n plus 9 n plus 12 total 630 
दिस इज फाइव एन प्लस सिक्स प्लस थ्री नाइन एटीन थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी फाइव एन इज सिक्स थर्टी माइनस थर्टी फाइव एन इज सिक्स हंड्रेड वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज कमिंग वन ट्वेंटी परफेक्ट यस इट इज पॉसिबल सो आंसर इज सिक्स सो नंबर ऑफ रो सिक्स नॉट पॉसिबल सो यू हैव टू यूज आंसर ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन नंबर ऑफ पैरलोग्राम दैट कैन बी फॉर्म फ्रॉम ए सेट ऑफ फोर पैरल लाइन इंटरसेक्टिंग अनदर सेट ऑफ फोर पैरल लाइन फोर पैरल लाइन एंड इंटरसेक्टिंग अनदर सेट ऑफ फोर पैरल लाइन सो यू जस्ट ड्रॉ फोर लाइन एंड फोर इंटरसेक्टिंग लाइन सी द फिगर हेयर फिगर हेयर इज वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री दिस इज थ्री बाई थ्री I give you a shortcut when number of cells vertically, horizontally same, or it is n by n figure for parallelogram. Our shortcut is bracket start one plus two plus three up to n into second bracket start one plus two plus three up to n. So this is three by three figure. Bracket start one plus two plus three bracket close into second bracket start one plus two plus three. So this is three six six into six thirty six. So in the given figure, how many parallelogram we have? We have thirty six here. So shortcut we have to apply actually. Question number eight. What is the minimum number of different color required to paint? the given figure such that no two adjacent region have the same color no two adjacent region have the same color minimum number of color required so i can use color i paint this red color i leave this because no two adjacent region have same color so i cannot put red here so here i leave this here i put red i leave this i put red color here i leave this i put red color here similarly here i put red color here i leave one red color i leave this red color and i put red color at the center so till now i have used only one color non axis i put green color here 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 no adjacent no two adjacent region have the same color i put green color here I put green color here. I put green color here. And next is blue color. So I have used three color. So what are the minimum number of color required to paint in such a manner that such that no two adjacent region have the same color? So minimum three color required. So three color. Fine. Question number nine. Although it is number system and geometry mensuration, I will tell you. Consider the following figure and answer the item that follow. A square is divided in four rectangle as shown above. The length of the sides of the rectangle are natural number. The area of two rectangle as indicated in the figure. What is the length of the each side of the square? So we have to find the side of the square here. So this is fifteen. This is forty-eight. This is the area of this rectangle. this is the area of this rectangle so we have to find what is the length and breadth possibilities what is the length and the breadth then we have to find what are the sides of the square so what we have to find side of the square so what is asked here side of the square actually now we make factor of 15 and here it is already mentioned the sides of the rectangle natural number you cannot take 7.5 and 2 so we have to take factor of this 15 is like One and fifteen, three and five. It has to be multiple of two things because area is length into breadth. So three into five. Don't take extreme value. We try with this. So I assume that this is three, this is five. I assume that this is three five, or it can be three five, or it can be one and fifteen also. But I do heat and trial. I start with three and five. 
no next there is second rectangle where area is 48 so what will the length and breadth where length and breadth has to be a natural number what are the factor 1 48 2 24 3 16 4 12 and this is 6 and 8 so we try with 6 and 8 if it get fit okay otherwise we will try other one so 6 and 8 so here with this value you add 8 and with this value we add 6 so 5 plus 6 11 3 plus 8 11 so this side is 11 this side is 11 now it becomes square so side of the square is 11 very good Bhaskar so here answer is B 11 so we have to make factor and we have to use that Question number 10, A, B, C, D, E belong to 5 different cities, P, Q, R, S, T, not necessarily in the order. Each one of them come from the different city. Further is given that B and C do not belong to Q. B and D do not belong to P and R. So there are 5 person A, B, C, D, E although it is like reasoning question try this question okay okay guys chalo ji theek hai b and c do not belong to q to yahan pe kya karna q likh ke cut kar dena so that you have idea that b and c do not belong to q b and d do not belong to p and r p and r p and r Better is you if you write in sequence P, Q, R, S. So I will write P. P, Q, R, R, S, T. Okay. A and C do not belong to R, S, T. Okay, negative information. Har koi negative statement. Hai. A and C do not, A do not belong to R, S, T. Even C is R, S, T. D and D do not belong to Q and T. D, Q and T cancel. Even E also Q and T. Now here, your reasoning power say R, 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 R. So R ho gaya yahan pe. Confirm. D belong to R. Which of the following statement is not correct? D belong to R, this statement is correct. But we are looking for not correct statement. C belong to P, yes. P, Q, R, S, T. So here this statement is also correct. A belong to Q. Yes, P ho ni sakta. A belong to Q. This is also correct. So answer has to be D. B belong to S. B belong to actually T. B belong to T. And here E belong to S. So B belongs to T. Answer option D. B belongs to T. So better make only one table. Don't make multi multiple table. Otherwise there will be confusion. So question number 10. Answer is D. Question number 11. In a plane, a line X is perpendicular to line Y. This is X. Who is perpendicular to Y. And parallel to Z. X is parallel to Z. Then line X is perpendicular to V also. X is perpendicular to V also. This U is perpendicular to both V. U is perpendicular to both V and W. Okay. I know the answer so I start with the D itself. You can check A, B, C. Here Y, V, W are parallel. Yes, Y, V, W are parallel. Yes, for sure. Question number 11, answer is D, Y, V, W are parallel. You have to draw this line, follow the, follow the statement and you get your answer. Question number 11. Question number 12, there are 4 horizontal and 4 vertical line. Parallel and equidistant to one another on a board. What is the maximum number of rectangle and square that can be formed? 4 horizontal. Four vertical. So figure form one, two, three, one, two, three. 
I tell you what are the number of rectangle here, number of square here, answer options are not correct here. So here the rest is we will do correction. So this is 1 to 3, 1 to 3, this is 3 by 3 figure for rectangle formula is when it is n by n figure you can note down this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n into 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n this is for rectangle since it is 3 by 3 figure so what we will do bracket start 1 plus 2 plus 3 into second bracket start 1 plus 2 plus 3 this is 3 3 6 6 into 6 36 so in the given figure we have 36 rectangle and 4 square formula is in 3 by 3 figure it is 3 square plus 2 square plus 1 square this is 9 plus 4 plus 1 we have 14 square so here I just tell you what is shortcut of square and what is shortcut of rectangle so that is the idea here so in 3 by when we have 4 horizontal 4 vertical line figure will be 3 by 3 number of rectangle 36 number of square we have 14